Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is a card showing someone who is holding on to something quite tightly. Uh, this person is afraid of letting something go. They could be still attached to their past. Um, they could. Th this could be you that they are holding on to, but there's something about this person where they are afraid of letting go. They're afraid of losing something. This is someone who can be in a bit of a lack mindset. Um, or they're just feeling very resourceful, but I'm seeing someone who's not, they're not giving much. They are very closed off, but it's all stemming from a fear of losing something. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. We have the Queen of Wands, Fire Energy. And we have the Three of Wands, Fire Energy. So the Three of Wands is showing that this person is waiting for something. They are waiting to hear back. They're waiting for good news. They, if there's some sort of separation or distance between you and this person, this person is still holding on to hope that they will hear back from you. They're being very patient with the temperance energy there. Um, this is someone who is not giving up, but also they're not taking action. They're just waiting. Um, the, with the Queen of Wands there, it's like they're seeing you as someone who's very uh, beautiful, someone very attractive. Someone who also has a lot of options. Um, there could be a bit of some insecurity on this person's part, but they do feel like you you should come to them. For some reason, they feel like you're the one who will make a move, if anything, and they are waiting for that. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Gemini. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this person is very specific about what they want. This is someone who, I'm saying they're waiting for you to make an offer. Um, any other offers won't do. There's even an energy here of this person not seeing that they have the power to actually, if they want to, they can reach out to you. But for some reason, they're not seeing it like that. This person is seeing things very one way and they are practicing a lot of restraint at this time. Them seeing someone who is just not budging, they want things to happen a certain way and they're not open to extending themselves. This person is just waiting for you to make your way back to them. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have a five of cups in the reverse, water energy, ace of pentacles, earth energy, and we have the Sun card, Leo energy. Okay, so with the Five of Cups being here and it's in the reverse, you could have some sort of past with this person where there was a feeling of disappointment. Um, and this person, there's an energy of, they actually, they're ready to move forward with you. They're forgiven and they are wanting to make peace with you. Um, this is someone who is actually hopeful that you guys can have a new beginning. With the Ace of Pentacles, they see you as someone who they want to be with forever. There's that energy of wanting a grounded, stable, prosperous new beginning with you. And 
you know, this person often thinks about it a lot. So they daydream about it and they are seeing the potential. They are seeing that you're someone who made them very happy. Someone who has the potential to really make them happy. You bring them peace, joy, and they, they, they say this person is really wanting you to bring the sun back again. Um, with this five of cups, it's like they are very focused on the potential of this connection. They see these two cups and they see this connection as having so much potential. And, um, they have all of these ideas of where they want things to go. And at this time, they are just hoping for, to hear back from you. And they're not taking action, but this person has forgiven you. And um, if there is even anything to forgive you for, there's an energy of they've forgiven the past, any sort of disappointment that may have happened. This person is past that. They, they, they actually still are focusing on you as someone that they love. They're seeing you as someone they want to be with but they're not taking action. They're practicing self-control with that temperance energy. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Gemini. So the card says, don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. So this person is hoping that you don't have any pride. They want you to reach out. Um, but this person themselves, they could be too proud to reach out. But I'm seeing also with the temperance, it's like they are very much restraining them, practicing restraint to avoid reaching out. Because this person genuinely believes that it's your turn to make the first move. Um, but they, they really want you to. It's like they really are trying to manifest you to approach them with an offer they're wishing for it but they're not making it happen in their own strengths okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you gemini So the card says, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So this person really wants this moment where you guys can have this heart to heart, forgive each other and learn. There's this energy of they have forgiven everything, but they haven't made this known to you. They, they are already, you know, it's like they already focused on loving you and being together with you, being in a new beginning with you. And, um, they're not holding on to the past anymore. They're hoping that you aren't either because this person is very eager to be with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Gemini. So the card says, false indigo, emotion and intuition. When you reach the end of what you should know, you will be at the beginning of what you should sense. And we have the three of wands. This person, they're waiting and expect with expectance. There's this energy of they, they are quite confident that you will come back. They are um, trying to manifest that, but they are holding on to hope that this, this isn't over. They're not letting this go. Um, but this person is expecting to hear from you their intuition is telling them. It's like they are in this energy of wanting to attract um, rather than to pursue. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.